This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, buddy! And guess. Welcome back to Miles Edge Face Attorney Investigations 2, everyone. We are on the imprisoned turnabout today. We're already in the middle, though. <laughs> We're in the middle? Wait, what? We're in the middle? That can't be right. I remember this case being way longer. That's okay. Oh, well. It's so, shorter than the first case. You're like, oh. First case was long. First, first case, case was eight episodes, long. so first we'll see how long, long this one is. Last time we met the British people. <laughs> with oh, yeah. 26 year old female judge. It, it's like. Seems like it's like running up it's the, the new hit. Uh, it's the new judge hit. Judge Judy. <laughs> the new hit um, TLC show. 26 and a judge. <laughs> 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 it's way better than 16 and pregnant. Anyways. Or like eight. Kate plus eight or whatever. Oh, Kate plus eight. That's just worse Duggars, basically. Because, yeah, they're not very well behaved. March 28th, 9.45 a.m., High Prosecutor's Offices, room 1202. Mr. Edgeworth! Just what happened yesterday? Those two people! Their attitude was just unforgivable! Mr. Edgeworth, I'm here to clean up the mess you made. The Prosecutorial Investigation Committee has decreed that you will be taken off of this case. And Sebastian has been appointed to take over the case. That is all. Judge Courtney and Mr. DeBest. They were certainly ruthless. But what I'm more concerned about is... The animals! Just what is this PIC thinking? I'm worried about what they will do from here on. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, maybe that's how Phoenix Wright's, like, loses his attorney's badge. Maybe he's like, stupid P.I.C.? This piece of crap! <laughs> They're like, uh, mm, mm. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Edgeworth, are you listening to me? Oh, what if Kristoff is on that committee? Oh, right, because he's going to be on there. He was literally, like, 25! He, he's on the Bar Association. He was, like, the one person who's like, maybe we shouldn't send Phoenix to jail. Let's just take away his attorney's badge. They're going, okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Yes, I'm listening. I was just thinking about how much of a butt Kristoff Gavin was. <laughs> You're not going to give up on this case, are you? No, I don't plan on backing down. Not with the current situation as it is. If I were to silently stand by, that would only validate their claims. But I no longer have investigation rights. What should I do now? What is it, Detective Gumshoe? B bad news, sir! I heard something down at the precinct. It sounds like they've already arrested a suspect in yesterday's case. What? Who is it? I don't know yet, sir. But if we go down to the detention center, we can ask. They're like, it's the office lady. She's like, oh. Oh my. Oh my. Let's get going, Mr. Edgeworth. We <laughs> have Gumshoe's face. Let's get going, Mr. Edgeworth. Even if I can't investigate, meeting with the suspect should not be an issue. All right, we're heading over to the detention center now. I'll also head over on the double, sir. Detective, won't that interfere with your job? I gotta investigate the scene of the crime anyway, so it should be okay, sir. All right, we'll meet up with you there. Roger, sir. Let's go, Kay. Okay. And they run all the way there. March 28th, 10.23 a.m., detention center, visitor's room. He's not coming, is he? He's not. It's happening all over again! Don't joke about that. Oh boy, yep. Here it comes! <laughs> this is Voice Destroyer. Okay. <laughs> okay. No way! I mean it! It's not happening! Oh my gosh. Yes, it? it's happening, alright. There's just someone here to talk to you. Is it Ron or whatever? D Desiree's mm. bro? That sounds like a pretty screechy voice, huh? No way, no way, no way! Don't be so stubborn! But aren't prosecutors like crazy scary or something? Isn't that a girl? Always giving you a death glare! No, that's a guy. Um, pardon me, but would you happen to be the suspect? <laughs> I knew it! Okay, why does this man seem so distraught? Well, because you're, uh, you! That doesn't help me at all. Hello, Mr. Suspect! Would you mind talking to us for a little bit? Who are you? I'm Mr. Edgeworth's 
assistant, Kay Faraday. Well, it's just a part-time job. I'm just taking a vacation from my real job. I don't remember hiring you. This is Mr. Edgeworth. He's a prosecutor, but he's not as scary as he looks, so it's okay. Huh. <laughs> How rude. R really What is with his hair? <laughs> Also, he's pulling off the pink hoodie pretty well. He is, but he does look a little bit like... His face looks like Shaggy does when he's like, <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, wow, a double, triple but Becker sardine marshmallow fudge sandwich. <laughs> Ew, I forgot about that. But then his hair looks like, um, pincers? 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 Yeah. Oh yeah, a little bit. Really, really. Really. <laughs> Anyway, can you tell us your name, Mr. Suspect? Yeah, um... Uh, I'm Simon Keys. Nice to meet you, Simon. You can just call me Kay, Kay? I am Miles Edgeworth, a prosecutor. I would appreciate a word with you. Please, it's for your own good, Simon. Really? Finally, it looks like we'll be able to get something out of him, thanks to Kay. First, I'd like you to tell me a little bit about yourself. No way! Not that! I couldn't do that! Impossible! I'm not worthy! There's nothing interesting about me! This isn't as bad of a voice as your tiger voice. Okay, no, it's that not. Kind of okay, his you. voice is not destroying me as much as I thought. I just wanted to make him whiny and screech. <laughs> Your occupation? No way! Not that! It's no big deal, honest! Yeah, I'm just a regular employee! Good grief. <laughs> Poor Miss Knightley. No way! It's really impossible! There's no way I could be a prosecutor! Even if you give that to me! That was never my intention. So, are you going to arrest me? Am I going to trial? No objections, Your Honor! There is an objection. Please calm down. Even if you show me stuff like that, it's too technical for me. I don't get it at all. It's literally just a floor plan of the prison, dude. <laughs> hm. I guess you don't have any new information about it. S -s Sorry! Am I going to be arrested? If I start spouting some random nonsense now, will I be able to plead insanity later? If you want to be guilty of perjury, go right ahead. Th that was a leading question! I knew it! I'm going to be arrested! Good grief. He's not listening to me at all. About the victim, Knightley. I don't think he's going to talk to me about this. Okay. Simon, did you know Mr. Knightley from somewhere? Knightley? Yeah, I did. He was a friend. Who would be friends with a him? A friend? So did he know that Knightley was arrested? Did you know that Mr. Knightley was arrested? Yeah, I came here to meet him. So he visited the detention center too. When was that? When did you visit him here? It was two days ago, in the afternoon. Here's my question, um, uh, Uncle, Uncle Jay, Uncle Ray? Uncle Ray. <laughs> Uncle Ray J, Blue Jay, um, I'm wondering who he goes to visit. Cause he's like, mm. there's a friend I go to visit every now yeah, and then. Yeah, interesting. I'm thinking it's a girl, cause he's all about girls <laughs> It's and all hugs. about the cute girls. I received a call from the police, so I came over right away. From the police? Why did you get a call from the police? It was a request from Knightley. He had a message for me. A message? Yeah, he wanted me to bring him his pocket-sized chessboard. So I retrieved it from his house and came here to give it to him. Did he say chessboard? Did you say chessboard? Is Kay stealing my thoughts? No, Mr. Edgeworth. It's just written on your face. <laughs> <laughs> I was just guessing from your facial expressions. See, I can be a useful assistant, right? <laughs> so, do you know what we need to do next? You bet! We gotta show that to Simon, right? Correct. Let's present it and see how he reacts. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Do you recognize this chessboard? Ah! Uh -huh, that's Knightley's! 
Just as I thought. Chessboard data updated in the organizer. This was found near Mr. Knightley's corpse. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he always carried a chessboard with him. It's just like him to have one until his last breath. It sounds like you two were really close, Simon. Yeah, we were best friends. At least, I thought we were. But maybe I was wrong. Huh? Because I never imagined he would murder someone! Having someone close to you turn out to be a murderer. Reality can be so cruel. It's not something most people can easily accept. And I never imagined we would part ways like this! <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, something's definitely strange here. There's no way Simon could have killed Mr. Knightley. Indeed, I certainly can't see a motive at all. However, the fact remains that he was the one who was arrested on that charge. Just what was the justification for doing so? So, why were you arrested? Hmm, I guess he still won't respond to me. Well, I don't know. Looks like he's finally warming up to you. Phew, <sighs> that's a great help. This morning, a police officer barged into my house. And before I knew it, he had brought me here. Was there a prosecutor accompanying him at that time? Uh, I remember a prosecutor called D um Best or something. Something was there too. So, it was that rookie prosecutor. Then, I guess the police haven't dragged you into questioning yet, huh? Uh, are the police going to interrogate me? Yep, that's right, because you're the suspect. No way, no way, no way, no way! Are detectives like crazy abusive or something? Always bossing you around with their big bodies. Detective Gumshoe is on the scene! <laughs> ah, I knew it! Please don't beat me with your thick arms! I can't take it anymore! Someone call the police! <laughs> <laughs> You're in the detention center, bud. What's gotten into him, sir? Well, it's because you're you, detective. Huh? I don't get it, sir. I know Simon has to be incident. Incident? <laughs> has to be incident! I know Simon has to be innocent, Mr. Edgeworth. Actually, wait, how, how old is Simon? I actually forget. Simon Garfunkel? 24. Timid young man. Doesn't seem like the type to kill someone. <laughs> See, like, he's gonna have one of two things. He's either gonna not be the suspect, or he's gonna suddenly, like, whip out his brandy and be like... <laughs> <laughs> he's actually Matt Ongar, who escaped from jail and cleaned up all the scars on his face. <laughs> and grew his hair out a bunch. Can't we do something? Simon Keys? Yes! You were Mr. Knightley's best friend. You only just met with him two days ago. You say you didn't kill him. Are you certain about this? Y yes, I am! I wouldn't harm a fly! I see. That's enough for me. I shall offer my assistance in proving your innocence. Eh? What's the point in helping little old me? It's not just for you. This case, I have a personal stake in it as well. That's right! We gotta get back at those two from yesterday! Yeah! I'm fired up, sir! <laughs> but I don't have any investigation rights at the moment. Since I won't be able to obtain information myself, your role is most vital. I'm sure we can rely on you to fill in any holes in the information we have. <laughs> help us help you. That's all I ask. Ah! I just had an idea! Why don't you just borrow a defense attorney's badge, sir? Come on! There's no way Mr. Edgeworth could do that! This isn't the time to be joking around! B but I wasn't joking! He's done it before! <laughs> Has he? Bridge to the turnabout, yeah. Phoenix gave him the attorney's badge. Oh, I forgot about that. Helping the suspect is a defense attorney's job, pal. Jeez, don't worry about that. It doesn't matter what Mr. Edgeworth's job is. All we gotta do is find the real murderer. So, let's get moving! Okay, pal. That's just like, what am I going to do with those two? I'm sure you understand, but if the investigation results prove that you are the murderer, no hard feelings, but I will show no mercy. 
But you don't need to be scared. I believe in your story. At least for now. All you need to do is believe in us and wait patiently. There's nothing to fear. Now if you'll excuse me, I must be off. I thought he was gonna start running as well. He just breaks through the glass. I'm oh, free! Eat free, live free in prison! <laughs> That's my favorite slogan. <laughs> I need that on my wall <laughs> at school. Wow. <laughs> no, because the dorm rooms kind of look like a prison a little bit. Not, People like, might take that the wrong way, I don't though. Know. I don't know. March 28th, 11 22 a.m., detention center hallway. <laughs> so, we're all fired up and ready to go. But we still can't enter the parts of the prison where the murder occurred. If you can't investigate, the only thing you can do now is defend him in court, sir. But how are we supposed to do that? We can't. Huh? Or wait, I think this is Raymond's room. Uh, yep, I, th I thought it was him. If it isn't Prosecutor Edgeworth and his Mary Gain, where are you guys- what are you guys doing here? <laughs> it's like Robin Hood! <laughs> Did you come here to harass Mr. Edgeworth again, pal? <laughs> what are you talking about, big guy? Uncle Ray's just here to do his job. It's your job? Oh yeah, you're a defense attorney, right? Okay, you're as cute if all as ever. cute if all. I might not look it, but your Uncle Ray's got a hot- <laughs> he's a hot shot defense attorney. I've got a hot shot <laughs> defense attorney. I'm just a regular one. <laughs> I'm here to meet with a new client today. What was his name again? Another Shy guy? Monkeys or something? Another Shy Monkeys. Another guy? I- uh, What? I want another girl. Right now we only have two girls. You'll get another one. What? You mean Simon Keys? That's it. K, looks like you know the deal. Mr. Edgeworth. He's a defense attorney! I thought as much. Guess we have no choice but to resort to that method. In the past, whenever I had to investigate cases I was not placed in charge of, I was able to gain access by becoming a subordinate to whomever was in charge. Not my preferred option, but it's the only one I have now. Mr. Shields, if I may ask. By the way, I don't take on sidekicks. I refuse to take on male assistants who lack charm. So, <laughs> what wh about male assistants who have charm? What, what That's about okay. Edgeworth isn't charming? His I hair. Know. His hair is not very charming. <laughs> He's got like the micro bangs parted on the side. Especially someone who is like a son of Aaron Karma. Okay, fine. Then we'll put K on your Mr. side. Mr. Shields, as I thought, he won't forgive me so easily. Mr. Shields, I understand that you cannot forgive me for what I've done. I am also fully aware of your hatred towards those involved with Von Karma. I don't know if you'll believe me, but... I am no longer the same as I was back then. Back when I idolized Von Karma. That's only because he's like- Yeah, pal! Mr. Edgeworth is a changed man! What were you saying, sorry? Well, he kind of- that was like his only family after his dad mm -hmm. died. Right. I mean, he and Francisca are still on good terms, but like- I mean, a little bit. She kind of took off on a plane and was like, meh! And then, and then we met her on another plane. After we landed the plane. After we landed the plane. And then she was in and the then, embassies. And then she was in the embassies, and then she was like, mm-hmm. And then she was in a, a amusement park. No, she wasn't in the amusement park case. What was she? She was in a few. She was in the plane case, she was in the flashback case, and then she was in the embassy case. Sure, he may have been a cruel, inhuman prosecutor in the past. But now, he's completely different, pal. When you put it that bluntly, it kind of hurts. That's right! Mr. Edgeworth's not a bad guy anymore. I wouldn't even call him a prosecutor. He's more like, uh, um, a hero! Yeah! He even helped me out in that big case last month. A hero? That's some pretty big talk there, Missy. He's a magnificent hero, although he'd be no match for a great thief like me. Mr. Shields, don't the actions of the PIC appear strange to you? I believe there may be something else hidden behind this case. I can't afford to quit at this juncture. Please let me help you with the investigation. I am begging you. Heh. <laughs> I never expected you to grovel like this. It sure looks like you've changed all right. And I'm kind of interested in the cause of all this. You're interested in what changed me? If I had to say, it would probably be the courtroom itself. 
all the experiences I've had and all the people I've met inside the courtroom. And perhaps reuniting with my old friends. Andrew, you don't have friends. He's Larry and Phoenix and Francis and not Gumshoe. Really a friend. <laughs> I never expected you of all people to change. Who would have thought that you'd lay open your heart like that? He just hugs him. I'm sure that man would be surprised as well. Guess he can't turn away. Guess I can't turn you away. It may be long overdue, but allow me to properly reintroduce myself. If you'd be so kind as to read this. Edgeworth Law Office's Raymond Shields head attorney? Edgeworth? Mr. Shields was an assistant to my deceased father. Gregory Edgeworth. Really? Your father was a defense attorney? So that means that man Mr. Shields talked about is... Correct, my cute little K. Prosecutor Edgeworth's old man. Oh, I thought he was talking about Phoenix Wright. I never changed the name of that firm. It's my way of showing my appreciation for his help. Prosecutor Edgeworth? No, wait. Miles. Uncle Ray doesn't fully trust you just yet. Yeah, that's fine. It may have been temporary, but the fact remains, you were once a disciple of Von Karma. You say that you've changed, but you'll need to prove it to me with your actions. Look at that grin on Edgeworth's yeah. face. He does kind of look like a Lego. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. I had to stretch. Even your old man would have wanted it this way. Yes, I understand. Alright, I'm getting tired of all this stuffy talk, so let's give it a rest and move on. For now, I'll make you my temporary assistant. How does that sound? I'm sorry to trouble you. But this outcome is kind of moving, yeah? The prodigal son returning to work in his late father's law firm. What about me? What about me? Of course, you can help 2K. I always take on cute girls as my assistants. That's, With the, charm. that's the defense attorney way. <laughs> <laughs> All right! Thanks a lot, Mr. Shields. I mean, boss. Now then, let's get right to work. Let's see. First off, what do you think we should do, Miles? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. I had some unfinished business yesterday. Hmm. So it wasn't the victim. But rather, it was the first person to discover the body who screamed. Why don't we find them and listen to what they have to say? Yeah, that's it! Uncle Ray thinks so too. Hmm. <laughs> Upbeat as always. Okay, with that decided, let's hurry up and grill him! Um... Sir, what am I supposed to do? Detectives can't help defense attorneys. Hmm. I can't just leave him be. Detective, I will give you a special assignment. I want you to assist Mr. DeBest in his investigation and follow his orders. And then, if you discover anything useful, I want you to share it with us. Detective, this is a job that only you can do. Can we count on you? Y yes sir! Leave it to me! I'm really good at leaking investigation reports to defense attorneys. <laughs> it's very true. <laughs> Normally, that would be a problem for me, but it may come in handy this time. He really does. I don't understand why he can't help defense attorneys either. Um, because he works for the prosecutor's office. Okay. Alright, let's get moving, shall we? Time to go to jail. <laughs> Eat free, live free. <laughs> in prison. Pony! March 28th, 11.50 a.m., prison hallway. Now then, where's the person who first discovered the body? For now, all we can do is ask around. Can we go to the offices? I can't, I don't know who this is. Hold it right, right there. there. <gasps> it's who her! Who is this lady? Who oh is this gosh. woman? Oh my gosh, she's like the young version of that lady from Howl's Moving Castle. A oh, chair! <laughs> the Witch of the Waste? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. She's got the biggest coat. Um, excuse me, just... but... Oh, you're simply irresistible. Huh? Do you mean me? <laughs> Very nice. Very nice indeed. What an elegant mustache. Otherwise, I'm getting like a, um... Because <laughs> I'm playing Paper Mario again. Um, Flurry. Flurry. <laughs> I, I always expect her to have like the... Oh, hello! Oh, it's my! So good to see you. <laughs> it's a okay. pleasure to meet you, mademoiselle. Defense attorney Ray Shields at your service. How about we exchange greetings with a hug? Oh, but of course. <laughs> 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 Uncle.
Uncle Ray's lips. <laughs> a proper greeting should begin with a hug and a kiss. No, it shouldn't. No, it shouldn't, unless you are dating French. the person. No, what? <laughs> is, isn't it the French thing to like kiss when you mean? No, but it's not on the lips. It's right. Like a it's like kiss, the kiss, kiss. Yeah. That's still on the weird to me. It's almost like it was stolen from him. Yes, a remarkable feat of quickness that would put a great thief to shame. I feel that close contact is very important. This goes for my family here in my home as well. Qu quite a splendid way of thinking there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the warden Patricia Roland. Roland. Roland? Patrol. Oh! Okay, see, now she's the Tina Fey of this place. <laughs> she is Tina Fey. Give, her, is give Tina her the Fey. Tina Fey voice. I don't know how to sound like Tina but Fey. But please call me... No, don't do... <laughs> I'm, I'm sounded like Doofenshmirtz. But please call me Patty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but please call me Patty. Please, just call me Patty. The warden. So she's in charge of the prison and detention center. I want her to take off her coat, and I want to figure out if she's actually fat or if she just has the most obscenely huge coat. Vote for coat. <laughs> nice to meet you. I am Miles Edgeworth. I'm a prosec. I mean, I'm Mr. Shield's assistant. Pardon me for asking, but were you here in the prison yesterday? But of course, yesterday was a day that I wouldn't have missed for the world. Wouldn't have missed for the world. Did you have some kind of important meeting? Oh, heavens no! I despise meetings! It was the animal show, of course. So is her... <laughs> is her thing around her neck real? Like, is it, it alive? I or think is it so. Dead? Oh. Oh, <laughs> the, the circus the is circus coming back! The circus is coming back! Yeah, the, literally the one thing Marty was spoiled on for this game is that Regina comes back. Oh! I kind of forgot. I mean, now I under- yeah. Yeah. A wonderful spectacle featuring animals dancing and flying through the air. I always see it along with everyone else in our home. We're one big happy family. Oh, maybe this is Regina's mom. You just bust out the- how old is I mean, let's Roland. look- I don't know, maybe she's young. 37. I mean, she could have had the most shotgun marriage. Actually, no. That's she, possible. Because if, if Regina would be like 17 in this. Yeah. So she would have been 20. I mean, that's young, but they look that's young. possible. We built a special stage in the courtyard just for the performance. A performance for the prisoner's enjoyment. Yesterday, Elbert mentioned some kind of recreation. I suppose the animal show is what he was referring to. When did the show yeah, take it's, place? It's alive. It started at 8 a.m. and ended around 10 a.m. That's exactly when the body was discovered. So whoever saw the show would probably have an alibi. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. I have business to attend to. Please take your time and have a look around our home. Okay, I don't think she's actually fat because she's got smallish legs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, where should we start, Mr. Edgeworth? There was a prisoner who heard the scream from the person who first discovered the body. Let's ta start by talking to him. But I want to talk to the parrot. We can't. I want to talk to the horse. Hmm, they even have a pony. Little kids could ride it. How nice! It's like a zoo! Although, it's the humans who are treated like animals in here. Do you think that they found out? Do you think they'd find out if I took one home with me? I think that if you did that, you'd be the one behind bars. But the pony's so cute. There's some information here about the prisoner of the cell! Let's see. Inmate number D259. Species C cell on right. That's a shoddy explanation. His partner is Rocky the Polar Bear. He's a former boxer who enjoys training to lose weight. His muscles are tough, but he's a big softy. He's an omnivore, so it says. Who is this information for? They're literally- it's like a zoo! This is terrible! Yeah. No one's here. This person was taken to the dis disciplinary room. I wonder when he'll be back. Who knows? I'm sure he won't be allowed to return so easily. He was on the verge of tears. He really didn't want to go. Is it gonna be like that, um... 
the Chokey or whatever from Matilda. Did you ever see that no. movie or the musical? No. Basically, they threw they would throw the child into this room that has like nails and stuff, and it's like. Yeah, is that like an Iron Maiden? I don't know. Yes. But yeah, it, I think it was that anyway. <laughs> You're going in the box. Not going, the box. Going in the cooler or whatever. I didn't want to reference that because it's Avatar: <laughs> The Last Airbender. We love that show. I just watched. The I know, show but we, again. like we've quoted that every single episode. I'd have sake of it. Indeed, his reaction was quite extreme. Just I wonder what sort of punishment awaits him. Let's look at the other inmate cell black. Hey, something's written here! Yes, it's some information about the inmate. Inmate number D258, species Convictus Brutus. Despite his ferocious appearance, he's an herbivore. His partner is Gwen the Penguin. He has a penguin! His good acting skills and a great stage presence delivers powerful testimonies. So it says. It's just like one of those information signs at the zoo. Exactly. It's a pig! It's a pig! It's a pot-bellied pig. Let's hope it doesn't become dinner. There's a pig coming out of my chest! <laughs> How nice! It's like a zoo! Although, it's the humans who are treated like animals. <laughs> Where is the person who first discovered the body right now? Around this time, I think he should be in the workroom in the back. Uh, the workroom is over there. Oh, there's a cute guard petting the cat. I should take, go take a look. There's a cute, there's a cute cat being petted by the guard. I, I think we'll go take a look next time Aww. on Eastern Investigations Two. Thanks for watching, everyone. To the next time, we're gonna meet up with that prisoner and ooh, new person. I wonder who it'll be. In prison. In prison. In prison. Uh... It's a, well, it's another prisoner who discovered the body. It's probably a new guy. Because only guys are in prison for some reason. <laughs> but the warden is a female. Well, that, yeah, because they got get... is in jail now. <laughs> <laughs> the warden who I think is her mom threw her in jail? <laughs> I don't think so. Anyhow, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.